Dos, the much-awaited sequel to the ever-popular Uno. Unlike its predecessor, this one actually involves some strategy. Here are the stats. Let's get into it. Dos is a card game, so you get cards, naturally. 108 of them to be exact. They're split into five categories. 24 cards in each of the four colors of blue, green, red, and yellow, as well as 12 of the Wily Wild Dos cards. Each color is split thusly. Three each of the one, three, four, and five cards. Two each of the six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 cards. And two wild hashtag cards for all you Twitter heads out there. Is that term offensive? My apologies if so. Whomsoever empties their hand first shall end the round and reap all of the points found in their opponent's hands. First, setup. Each player draws a card from the draw pile. Whoever drew the highest card is the first dealer. Non-number cards count as zero for this. The dealer shuffles the draw pile and deals each player seven cards. They then place the top two cards of the draw pile, face up, side by side in the center of the play area to form the center row. Finally, they place the draw pile within reach of all players, with enough space for a discard pile next to it. Let's get playing. Starting with the player to the dealer's left and continuing clockwise, each player must either number match one or more cards in the center row with cards from their hand or draw a card from the draw pile. There are four ways to number match. Standard number matches get rid of cards from your hand, and number and color matches get rid of cards while also giving you a bonus. To single number match, place any one card from your hand on a center row card with the same number. To double number match, place any two cards that add up to the number on a center row card onto that center row card. To single color match, Place any one card from your hand on a center row card with the same number and color. Now, when your turn ends, you may place one of your hand cards into the center row. To double color match, place any two cards that add up to and are both the same color as a center row card on that center row card. Now, when your turn ends, you may place one of your hand cards in the center row and all of the other players must draw one card. If you decide you don't want to make a match, you must draw. If you can make a match with the card you draw, you may immediately do so. If you cannot or do not want to make a match after drawing, you must lay one card from your hand in the center row. Once your turn's over, place all of the cards you matched and the center row cards you matched them with into the discard pile. If the center row has less than two cards now, you must place cards from the draw pile into the center row until there are two. Finally, place your bonus cards earned from color matches into the center row. Dos shall continue in this manner until a single player has relieved themselves of all the cards in their hand. They are then awarded points for all of the cards left in their opponent's hands, including any cards they must draw due to a double color match bonus. Whomsoever won this round shall be the dealer in the next round of Dos. That covers most of the game, but there are still a few rules. First, some clarifications on the center row. There's no maximum limit to the center row, but there is a minimum limit of two. Also, you may make a match on any and all of the center row cards, but you can't match a center row card more than once. Next, special cards. The Wild Dos card is the only card with a two on it. The color is wild, and it's decided by the person playing it or by the person who is matching to it, if it's in the center row. The Wild Hashtag card is the only card without a number on it. It counts as any number card, one through 10, with the color of the hashtag card. Just like the Dos card, the number is decided by the player playing it or the player matching to it. Finally, scoring. When the round ends, all of the players that still have cards must draw any bonus cards the winning player earned that turn. Then, you count all of the cards left in all of their hands, like so. All number cards are worth their face value. Wild Dos cards are worth 20 points, and wild hashtag cards are worth 40 whole points. Add them up and write it down somewhere so that you can see whomsoever earns at least 200 points first will be crowned the victor. That's it, no other rules, no silliness, no gimmick. <sighs> Fine, yeah, okay. Just like the other game, this one has Uno last rule. If you ever have exactly dope cards in your hand, you must shout dope. If another player shouts dope before you can shout dope, you must immediately draw dope cards. If someone else shouts dope when you have dope cards before you can shout dose on your turn, don't draw dope cards until the end of your turn while playing. <laughs> so
So that's DOS. That should cover everything, but if you still have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you liked this, please take the time to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, everybody.